Carolyn Wirth. I'm the director. Uh, we're about to start Nora's talk. Uh, I'll just wait for a couple of other people to come in. Oh, there they are. Yeah. <laughs> Here, come in. You can come in. So I just. So uh, I don't know if many people are aware, but this is the Hess. Hess Gallery's 50th anniversary year, and I can't think of a better way to inaugurate that than with Nora's beautiful work. If any of you have ever been here before, you may realize that the walls have just been redone and we've added a maker space in the gallery, thanks to the efforts of our librarian here, Mayor Parker O'Toole. Nora's talk is going to be the college's Nicholson lecture for this year, so it will be recorded and shared with our classes throughout the college. So thank you again for coming, and I'm going to turn it over to Nora. Okay. Well, thank you so much. It's like uh, it's always great to have uh, people here, and um, I'm sorry. Uh, are you okay with uh, the sound? Okay. <laughs> uh, Anyway, so uh, let me, because it's a son of you that know me, but uh, a son of a lot of new people, new faces. So uh, let me tell a little bit about myself and uh, you know where I come from, what, what I do. And, and after, I was just going to talk about specific about this work. And you can ask me also any questions, and I can explain. So I am originally from Argentina. And I grew up in, with an Italian mother and a Spanish father, and it was crazy. No, it was. Uh, so, and, and so I always kind of like feel like I was an outsider because when I was in, in, in Argentina, they always called me the Italian one. And mm -hmm. after, um, from, very, from very little, my, I guess I was drawing all the time, so they sent me to an academy. Uh, when I was six years old to 12, and where I was very, the, very classic, all the learning, and every year we have different techniques that we do. And after when I was in high school, uh, I entered the last two years of high school, I entered to the art school too, so I was practically, I have been doing art all my life. And uh, later I have a scholarship to go to, to, I moved to, because I am from the center of Argentina, from Cordoba, and after I moved to Buenos Aires for two years, and there I went to a scholarship to Brazil, and I did printmaking. Uh, from there, come back to Argentina, went back to, and I have a scholarship to go to Italy, uh, to the University para Stranieri in Perugia. And so I did that uh, as a painter. Actually, uh, I was actually, until then, I was mostly a painter. And l uh, later on, I moved to uh, Spain, and it was in Zaragoza, Spain, where I started working with people who did a public monument. So I started with the uh, working in marble. They accepted me as a part of the group. But it was a very purist uh, group, so we work all uh, huge stones, huge pieces, and all by hand. What that means is just chisel and hammer. So we were like a group of six people. Uh, I was the number seven, and since I was, I was, I was the only woman, and I was since I was the smaller one, they always sent me to the top <laughs> to work to work with uh, for faces. So I and now I don't do faces in my in my work, but <laughs> but people people always ask me, you do fa you don't know how to do faces. I was training doing faces, uh, but uh, yes, but I, it's a reason why I don't. I don't uh, do faces anymore. Um, so I practically, after in 86, I came to the United States. So I've been here practically more than half of my life, even if people, when they hear me talking, they think I get off the boat last week. <laughs> but, uh, so uh, anyway, so that it was, um, so I've been here, so I was straight nine years in, um, <clears throat> In Boston, after I, I was two years in Aston, Texas, two more two more years in Jackal Island, Georgia. After I went to uh, uh, Western Massachusetts for four years, and after back to Boston, and I've been here straight since uh, 2000, and, 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 and living in many different neighborhoods. So, um, and that the whole the, the reason I'm telling you a little bit about myself because that you will reflect in all my work. So I, I, my work have a lot of like, uh, 
wheels and package and suitcases and all sort of things that reflect the movement, the, the, the moving from one to another and, and another place. Also, I, I work a lot with uh, some, I used to do more po uh, with politics, but a lot of social themes, things that, you know, kind of buffet ourselves and things that, uh, um, that we, like a lot of with immigration, of course, I can get away from with that feeling of being an immigrant. And so you will see all to, to the work, like I, I, I kind of like have that about like with cars, with, uh, with uh, luggage, and, and that feeling like sometimes when people are from another country, not the first generation, when they have come from another culture, they always understand me super uh, immediately. It's kind of like, you never feel, a, you never feel, a, you, you are here even if you are happy here, uh, you never quite belong completely because it mostly like me, I have all my family still is in Argentina. So it's kind of like you are okay here, but you always are thinking the other place. It's kind of you are a split all the time, you know, I mean, it's kind of like, uh, it's, it's, it's something that, that haunts you forever. <laughs> And uh, so, so that's that's the reason I, I work and, and keep like keep a lot of my my pieces uh, in, in 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 a structure that kind of to symbolize movement. Uh, also, another uh, particular thing about my work, uh, I don't like to use pedestals, regular, normal, you know, pedestals uh, to put the sculptures. I always have to create a, a, a piece to kind of like to present them. Like for example, when I was doing this, the piece for this, you know, I just wanted to be kind of like the traveling, like they are, they are there all together, but I just have to create a piece instead of just putting in a, in, in a, in a pedestal. I kind of like to have like the, the same uh, continuation or the same feeling of, of what is a, it's happening, you know, I just kind of tell the story, the same thing here with the suitcases. And, and for some reason, also, I like to have different, uh, not to keep all, all the work up. You know, I like to have like different. So I, I, people sometimes, they, don't, they, they always are like so used to, to just see things here. And we have so many important things in the little corner. I mean, you just have to keep observing all over. So that kind of make people or the, or the or the audience who come and see my work, you know, that you can, can investigate all type of, all, all type of like places. Um, so the other thing about like specific this, uh, this, uh, this show uh, called Fragment, when I work in a show, because I, as I say, I do a lot of public art work mostly, uh, big, big stones and um, uh, also I work uh, with um, doing, um, community work, so where I create big projects and, and orchestrate, you know, like a, a, a lot of people that sometimes they don't even know how to work in, in, in art, uh, and also just to create a, a platform. So I like a, a lot of the dialogues, and I like when people, you know, like a, a question and interact and things like that. And so what I, I was saying that uh, for, um, for the for this specific uh, um, show called Fragment, I have different themes, kind of like it's a compilation of so many things I, I always have been working. Before, um, usually I, I, when I do a show, because I belong to the Boston Sculpture Gallery, when I do a show there or in any other place, I have one theme and every, all the pieces is that. That's what I do. And, um, and this one, you know, you just have things that, that uh, deals with home a lot, uh, and also uh, it's, it comes from these drawings. So whatever you see here is coming from that. I use the drawings kind of like, um, as I say, I was a painter first, and, but the drawings always are kind of like my diary, is what I do. And usually the drawings I don't even do in my studio, so that's what happened in my house when I am up late, that's what I'm doing, I'm drawing. <laughs> So <laughs> whoever lived with me, they know. <laughs> so all this, you know, happened that, that time. Uh, so and whenever I, so I do the drawing, and, and always I find that the drawings are a little more personal. And when I translate to the stone, the stone is just like more neutral for everybody uh, to, to interpret or identify. Instead, uh, the drawings are kind of like have more personal 
uh, symbols and, and stuff. And this one particular, I, I and, and also they have some other in the other room. Um, I paint then. I mean, so because I have that eager that I think is coming back from whatever I was doing so many years in my life, uh, being a painter. So I'm trying to bring that bring that up and also I paint a stone which is like uh, sacrilege no. <laughs> it's a, I, when I, I, I have carved some good pieces and I can do I can paint those I don't have no problem but with the stone I, I'm very respectful because sometimes it takes so long so you don't want to ruin it uh, <laughs> so I was just painting this one and so I don't know something is going is happening and, and you know so uh, like when you, when you keep working all the time, it's, you are changing, you know, and, and that's a, a good thing for an artist. You don't keep it with the things that, that you do forever, even if some people like some specific thing. Um, so that's it. So I, I come so I come out with the drawings, and after when I do my drawings, I usually um, pick up some shapes, some forms, some character, and those are the, I, I always say, okay, those are the ones, the good one to carve. And, and again, so it, it, it takes, it, it changed so much if I like, for example, if I take this and I introduce you to you to a pedestal just like that, it doesn't, for me, it's kind of like, mm, it's not the same. So you read this a little better. So it occurred to me to do this, um, <coughs> this structure, so home, and the same with that. I, I took some welding class when I came to the United States. And, and mass art, but I, I have so much process and so much part that I, am, I, I don't like it too well. I like to de, do these things directly. So like if I, if I like the stone, it's just me and the stone, and I carve, and that's it, and it finish, and it's, it's a piece. With, uh, when you weld, you have so many different parts. So I weld this, and I cut this, uh, but I have also a welder to help me out to kind of clean up a little bit uh, my mess. <laughs> But, <laughs> but yeah, but these were all, all cut, and, and, and yeah, I didn't like it, it's just too much things, but I tried to, to make uh, everything that I, I present, you know, I, I, I like to do it myself. Um, and again, so that's what these structures of, of home, and the idea, people say, why are you so obsessed with home? Uh, and it's not, right, not so much like the physical home, but it's, I think maybe it's just to belong, I don't know, the, like that sense of belonging that you wanted to like kind of, you know. When you come to, like I have lived, so like English is my fourth language I, I have learned and I have lived, lived in different countries. And so every time that you move, you move with a little bit, you know, you just move with your whole culture, mostly if you have lived and study in some place else. So you just move with, with something and you come to this other country and things are not quite the same, you know, so it's, you just have to learn it, the whole thing and plus the language. Um, so it kind of keep accumulating, you know, so that is not always like this baggage I, I always keep carrying with me. And eventually you realize that uh, it's, it's not, about, um, not about a home, not about physical. So it's just like not about like moving from one place to another or geomet uh, 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 geography. It's about whatever is happening here. So as, as you know, whenever you can be in peace, it doesn't matter wherever you are. And for me, I find a lot of peace just uh, carving. When I am in the studio carving, it's just something happened to me. I mean, people always ask me when they see my side when I do mostly the big pieces, how I do it. I don't know. It's just some force in there and and comes out and I just do it, I don't think it too much. Um, I don't like to do too much uh, models, uh, so I go from my drawings to the stone and usually when I do the stone I just draw and, and start carving from that way. And if I have some commissions specific that they needed to have like a model, I will do it, but that's not like what you will see. So, so I more or less explain that. You want, you want to point to me to, to explain some of this, and we can go around to the other room. I can explain about this, the bags. These are actually coming from the bank, you know, where they put the money. <laughs> so somebody was just saying, I don't know how he got it, I didn't ask. Uh, I say, <laughs> I, I, they say, no, no, you want these bags? I have all these bags, and I have so many. Oh, and I, I love it. I love it because also the string, there were all these different 
this different uh, color, and, and it was just a canvas. So I mostly use with, um, mostly use just like a, a pen, you know, the micron, yeah, and, and just draw directly. Whatever comes, I don't even, uh, you know, have an idea. It just comes. So that's, for me, this is more like, it's really like a diary. And, you know, and each one have a story. And I like, I mean, uh, some people, I, I, I present this in another, in another shop, not these pieces, others. And, you know, some people buy it and they use it in the kitchen and, and you know, they put things. And so anybody will, can use their work as, as they please. And I think uh, that's one of the things also sometimes I don't even like to put a title to my pieces because everybody will interpret the art according to your own experience. So it doesn't matter whatever it comes in my mind. When you see it, you will see something different, and that's the beauty of it. As long as you take something, I, I, I think I did my job. <laughs> but, um, so this one calls uh, Soledad, which that means solitude. Um, and this I, I did also in the time of the, that we were kind of like in, in, the, in the pandemic. Um, and this, you know, like kind of this uncertainty that we don't know really where are we standing right now. And like uh, some people are losing loved ones. So you have the, you know, you have the baggage, of course, that's like kind of my trademark. I have to have the little bag, um, you know, the house, the heart, a boat. It's kind of like you, you, sometimes you realize that nothing of outside is important. The important is whatever is on you and yourself. And if, uh, even if, Everything's fall apart, and if you are together, it's no problem. That's that's how it should be, and um, so that that's more mostly the relation for uh, you know the theme that is coming in my head when I'm carving this uh, this specific one. And this I carve the this piece first. Um, uh, this is coming actually from Peru. They call the white marble there, and I brought <laughs> I brought it here. It cost me more than my ticket. <laughs> it wasn't a good idea, but these are the, these are the things that comes to me, and sometimes uh, I just do things, and after I think about, and <laughs> it wasn't uh, the best ideas. Um, but anyway, so I carved this uh, a whole thing, kind of like together, you know, together we can have a home. Uh, you know, you don't have to be like individually, and. Sometimes, like for example, I like to, like right now that I live by myself, I like to live in, in co-ops because I think that's the best, the, best, uh, the best thing. You know, you just see a lot of people with the same ideas just working together and, 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 and pull it together like the home. And of course, I add a couple of, 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 of these pieces because, uh, um, you know, just so this kind of dealing with the heart and, and like package, so it's just like, adding to that. But um, so let me show you the next one. Oh, people have been asking me about that because that has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> so I kind of call the self-portrait. <laughs> <laughs> so and it's just pieces of wood. It, it, it gets together, but it's very unstable. <laughs> but it's like you have a head, and it's a stone head. It's a strong. So that's kind of like, like the, the idea of that piece. <laughs> and it's there because I think if, yeah, if you move it too much, probably will fall eventually. <laughs> so uh, so let's, let's come to this one. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> it's fine. So, um, and again, I, here I just, uh, you know, I like always try to find, because I always carve the piece first, and after I spend a lot of time how I will present them. And, and I should just put this in a pedestal and my life will be easy, but uh, usually I complicate a lot. Um, so yes, and, and again, I try to, if I keep some, some structures, I always like to keep, the, keep 
uh, on wheels. So everything uh, always in wheels because just to kind of like put it together, like the, 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 the movement, the transition and all that. And this ball, this sphere actually have had for like many life, <laughs> but um, keep changing because sometimes I use like some structures, like for example, those metal structure actually I have used before but whatever I put it inside is just completely different sculpture, different, different projects. And because it's whatever I feel in the moment. And this is called the journey. And again, so you, the boat here is kind of like, it's broken. So I carve the boat and after I say, no, I don't want the boat. I want the boat to uh, be broken. So I broke the boat. And, and again, I have the, the face, so just symbolize the person. And, and it's kind of like sometimes when you travel or when you go through life, things are not perfect, but that doesn't mean that they are bad. So always you have to keep like everything very positive and keep forward, keep going. <laughs> and things happen, and, and, and things happen in a, in a good way. So um, this uh, sphere I, I, is it's, it's not perfect, but it's carved by hand. I didn't use any grinder or anything, it's just chisel and hammer. So usually what you do, you have a rectangle, a rectangle piece and you will carve a cylinder that way and another cylinder this way and you get a perfect uh, sphere, more or less. It's not quite perfect. Um, but yeah, so that's, uh, I, as I say, I work almost like maybe 12 years, 15 years just by hand. And after I was already living here, and people said, look, you are in the United States, things need to be more faster. <laughs> 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 so we can quit waiting you, like keep carving. So I, I, I use now, you know, chisel and grinder. So I usually I go with a grinder, and, and I carve still a lot by hand. Um, I find it, uh, I don't use so much, uh, too many um, tools. And I carve sometimes large pieces with just a five inches. And the people who have seen me, <laughs> I, I, I work, I try to go with very minimum tools to carve the pieces because I travel a lot. And you have only, when you travel, it's just 50 pounds you have to carry. So that's going to be all my tools. So I have one grinder, like one the, the, with, a pneumatic, with like a diamond wheel that is five inches. And, um, and, and the hammer chisels, and, the, and that's it. That's all you need. And, and you do it. Um, so, so yeah, so that's how, how I keep it like very minimum everything because also I like to people, to encourage people to be a sculptors because a lot of people nowadays is more 2D people than 3D. And it's because it's very expensive to be a sculptor uh, because you need a whole hardware store. But if you keep it at a minimum, minimum tools and materials, I think it's possible. So, these ones, uh, just to tell about that, again, I put a color to this, and you will see. So these were like four, four different canvas. So these are done, done in canvas. I did the gray with acrylic and after color pencils. And, and again, so it's just like you will see the house, you know, like the person in, in, in between two houses, that's kind of like the two countries. Boat, the boat is not that I, I travel in boat every time I, I, I travel, but it's just a symbol. As soon as you see a boat or a suitcase, immediately you are thinking that you are traveling. And again, you know, the upside down house, sometimes when I don't even know what is happening. And um, so this, this specific piece called the immigrant, and again, so you just come, you know, it's kind of like you have the, the house and, uh, under the, the arm, so this is also the same uh, marble piece that uh, they're coming from Peru. And, um, and again, the wheels, and somebody was asking me why the wheels so close to the edge. And uh, so the idea is sometimes when immigrants uh, or, or people from another country, they say, oh, your life is so good, you like travel so much. But I always say if you can make it to be and, you, and stay in your country, stay because it's much easier. You just know your culture, you have your whole family, you have your whole upbringing, it's much easier. But, it's a, but if you don't, like you want to investigate what is happening in the war, you know, so you 
you, you just sometimes, uh, and this is not quite my case, but a lot of people just come because with this idea of home or, or, or some big dream that will happen in another country. And, and so you kind of like, so what? You are here, and what next? You know, so that's kind of like the, the, the wheels are like so tight in there uh, that it can, it can fall. And also I like to keep my, even if I work in stone, I also like to keep it kind of fragile. So it's going to have like this, this, always is two sides to everything, always is two things. So it's like, it's nothing wrong, it's nothing bad and good. Everything is good. Uh, and also it's whatever you make it, that's the most important. It's whatever you, you make of a situation or, a, a, you know, I mean, it's just like, um, you learn it, you know, the more uh, years you accumulate, <laughs> you learn it. But, uh, um, and this one, this also was done under the pan uh, in the pandemic. I have this, uh, this accordion uh, books from China. I went to do a piece in, in China, in Zhengzhou, uh, between Shanghai and, and Beijing. And I, I bought a lot of these uh, uh, books because I kind of wanted, I, I wanted to make some drawings. And, and, and all the drawings, all the paper drawings that they have, they were kind of like this, this way. So I said, OK, I will just cut it and make my drawings. And after I said, well, this is very interesting. So that's how this whole thing come out. And uh, I used some of the collage with all very old uh, books. So that's how, but I kind of like uh, create my own shape. And after, you know, just use the paper and, and glue it. And I add some of these, uh, you know, and this can be moved. They are made of blocks uh, and, and some of the things because, you know, some things they don't have to be always in the same pace of everybody. Things can be outside. Um, so I also have some drawings over there that is more like kind of referring to Argentina. These are, uh, you know, you have the map, uh, some of the uh, families, and, and of course they're all kind of like strange. But uh, if you wanted to, um, if you have some question, I mean, probably maybe at this yeah, what's, point. What's the meaning of the print? These drawings, the, the, the writing. The writing, uh, yeah. because I I, I I like books a lot, oh. and I like all stuff in all books, and I shouldn't be destroying them, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> just uncovering, uncovering. <laughs> uh, and but I uh, I love libraries, for example, like in Hanau. It's not that I will destroy all the books in the library. <laughs> no, don't be worried. Uh, and so it doesn't. Sometimes I find some books that uh, or some page I look that they have a specific the, the some words that I, I am interested and I use it. But uh, you know, means not some specific. Oh, this one. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's a, like um, a still walking. I think is the the title of this, and this the egg kind of symbolizes the woman, and so and, and and you know the the feet of like you keep it strong, and um, usually when I, I do like also some, some sometimes carve uh, stone pieces, I make the the feet very large, mm -hmm. and I feel like it doesn't matter what what happened, uh, you never forget your root or or like you you just try to walk in strong, you know, I mean, it doesn't matter if everything's falling apart, you are okay. So that, that's kind of symbolized. And why the, the, little, the little chair? I have these things for these little things. <laughs> 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 and some, <laughs> for little chairs, I think I connect with my childhood. That's are the chairs that we used to use. I don't know if they use here in the United States for kindergarten. And we have these little chairs, and I just love it. But still, I love it. And I, I, I have that. I actually I move, uh, and I have this little bench I keep in my porch. And, uh, and, and it's kind of like the same side of that. <laughs> um, so that is kind of like connected with my childhood and stuff like that. So when I, I saw a chair, and I was looking at a pedestal for, for this piece, and I say, OK, yes, yeah, that's. Sometimes I have present actually this piece inside of a house too, you know. Sometimes, but it's, it's depends how I feel in the moment, you know. I mean, and so I'm, I'm doing fine now. So I, I kind of wanted to give it more more room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
Any, any other question? I think I go it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I have always very funny stories about everything, probably. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So. Thanks. <laughs> good job. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> I, know. I know. Hey.